Hey guys, how are you going? In this video, I'll be showing you how to create this car design right here from scratch using plain HTML and CSS. So uh, the reason why I chose to make this video is because I'm noticing many websites are adapting this particular car design. So as you can see, we've got here an image followed by some content, then below that, an extra information bar, which tells you more things about the actual article, whatever it might be, uh, things like maybe a like count or even uh, extra buttons to share or perform more actions about this particular article. We've also got a link to view the full article or extra information. So that's just an example of what you might use a card layout for. Um, and also this one is going to be responsive and also mobile friendly as you can see it shrinks down to two columns and then a single column layer so we're also going to be using CSS grid to uh, create this layout so if you're not too familiar with CSS grid definitely stick around and watch this video you might learn something so anyway let's go inside this tab right here and start from scratch uh, to create the car design so inside the, uh, the uh, text editor we can see here this is the current state of the index HTML file so let's make a new file right here called cards.css this will contain all of the CSS styling for the card layer okay we can of course include this inside the index HTML by saying link CSS and going to cards.css um, so now this has been included uh, we can work on the HTML for the card layout so basically we're gonna need a container for all of the cards so let's make a new div with a class of cards just like this okay um, also for each particular card inside your container so for example if you have five cards we're gonna have five divs inside here with a class of card so right here this div represents a single card okay and inside here we're going to create three main elements we need basically one element for the image one for the content and one for the extra information section on the bottom so back inside here let's make a new image with a class of card underscore underscore image just like this um, so image and uh, for the source I'm just going to uh, copy and paste a placeholder link on a separate screen here and paste it inside there okay so obviously this is a placeholder image you of course are going to include your actual image inside here um, so for the card content let's make a div with a class of card underscore underscore content so pretty straightforward inside the div we're going to have two paragraphs for example so I'll copy and paste this right here into there okay cool uh, so now for the last one this will be the extra information bar so we can say div with a class of card underscore underscore info inside here of course you might have the amount of likes or buttons to share and things like that so for that we're going to make a new div uh, and inside here we're just going to say 310 likes just for now in a few moments i'll be showing you how to insert a thumbs up icon next to the amount of likes but for now let's put this inside a div in a second div we can put a link to the article we can say a with a class of card underscore underscore link set the href to be dot forward slash so basically uh, a root relative URL actually a relative uh, URL to index HTML so just go back to the same page inside the link text we can simply say view article for example so that is the main chunk of the HTML to represent a single card so it's quite straightforward I might just save this here and refresh the browser and we can see right here we have this result so now let's move on to inserting the thumbs up icon next to the amount of likes so for this as usual I'm gonna be using a Google material icon so I'll leave a link to this in the description but basically go to material.io resources icons and we can see here I've done a search so I've, I've done a search um, for thumb right here and scrolling down we can see I've, 
I've uh, chosen to use the thumb underscore up icon. So now I've chosen my icon. I can go inside uh, this developer guide right here. Also, I'll leave a link to this in the description. So on the developer guide, let's go down to the icons for web section and I'm going to copy and paste this link right here um, and put it inside my head tag. So we can paste that right there. Once again, I'll leave a link to that in the description. So now this is included, we can make use of that thumbs underscore up icon uh, right here. Sorry, thumb underscore up icon. Uh, so to achieve that, so we can go down to the 310 and make a new uh, i tag with a class of material dash icons. Inside here, I can say thumb underscore up. So once again, uh, really straightforward to use Google material icons. So I'm going to save this here and refresh and now we get the actual icon appearing next to the amount of likes. So now the HTML is complete for the card layer. Uh, we can move on to doing the CSS. So uh, for this, let's go back inside here, inside the cards CSS file, and we can begin on the actual cards container. So we can target the class of cards and we can firstly say margin zero and auto. This is gonna center the cards container on the web page okay we can also say max width and make this 1000 pixels keep in mind that these two properties right here are not essential for this to work so of course right here this may differ for your own projects but for mine i'm going to be using these two properties what is important though is a display of grid for the layout along with grid we're going to say grid template columns and make this basically repeat three and then one FR. Essentially, this just means create a three column layout of equal width, okay? We can also say gap and make the gap 20 pixels right there. Uh, for the font family, let's make this sans serif, okay? Uh, so now I'm gonna save this and refresh and we can see right here, we get, um, a very similar situation, but hovering over the cards container in the dev tools, we can see we get three columns. Okay, and we can also see that gap of 20 pixels between each one of the columns right there, just in the middle. So uh, we can now move on to um, the actual card itself. Um, I do want to mention though real quick that we're going to be changing this property later on um, and I basically just adjust it so we have uh, responsiveness and mobile friendliness. But for now, let's keep it as repeat 3 and then 1 FR. Anyway, for the actual card itself, we can simply just say box shadow and make this set to 003px RGBA 000 and then 0 0.1. Of course, this is completely personal preference. I don't mind having box shadows under my cards. So let's save this and refresh and now we get a nice shadow just around the edges of each individual card. Okay. Let's now move on to the card image. The first thing to do is to reduce the size of this image so that it doesn't uh, basically just expand the first column here. As we can see, the first column is larger than the other two because of this actual, uh, because of this image, right? So let's go inside here and we can say card underscore underscore image and set the width to be 100% and also a display of block and that right there is going to fix the image so it takes up the entire width of its container instead of going too far out. Okay, so obviously looking not too bad so far. We can move on to the card content. So that's basically all this stuff inside here. Let's target the class of card underscore underscore content. For this, we're going to say line height first up at 1.5. Um, I always like to include line height of at least 1.5 to aid in readability. I'm also going to say font size and make this 0.9 EM or 90% of the current font size. A padding of 15px for some space around the edges and also a background of a very light grey. So hash FA, FA and then FA. Saving this and refreshing gives us this right here. So it looks not too bad so far. However, we need to 
remove this extra space up here between the image and the start of the paragraph. For that, we're going to be adjusting the margining on the paragraphs um, inside the content. So basically, we want the first paragraph that appears inside the content to not have a margin top. And the same goes for the last paragraph. We don't want the large, uh, sorry, uh, the last paragraph to have a margin bottom. So for this, let's go back inside here and target those paragraphs. So I'm going to say card content. Then we're going to say uh, basically just an open bracket here and say p colon first of type. So basically, this is this is a this is going to select uh, the first paragraph tag that is a direct child of the card content class. We're going to say margin top and make this zero and do the same thing for the last paragraph tag. So uh, I'm going to say last of type this time and make this a margin bottom instead. Uh, so now saving this and refreshing gives us this right here. We can see now the paragraphs are much tighter against the edges and now the padding is actually going to do its work for the top and bottom. Okay, cool. Uh, so now we can move on to the card information on the bottom right here. Uh, so for that, uh, let's go inside here and target the class of card underscore underscore info. We're going to say firstly here a padding of 15px. Uh, so the same padding that was used for the card content. And we're going to also set a display of flex. This is to achieve the two column layout. So we can separate the actual like count and the share buttons or whatever with the actual link. So display a flex right there. Along with that, we're going to say justify content and make this space between. So this is basically going to introduce space between each one of these divs. So this one goes on the right and this one goes on the left. Okay. Cool. Uh, we can also say um, a background of a light gray, so triple E, a font size of 0.8 EM, so a bit smaller than what was used for the card content at 0.9. We can also say here border bottom and make this 2px solid and then a bit of a darker gray, so triple C than this one right here. So now saving this and refreshing will give us this right here. Um, cool. Uh, so now we can just work on uh, just pushing this view article text right here just so it uh, uh, becomes centered uh, vertically with the card info. So for that, we can simply just say align items and make this center. Saving this and refreshing gives us this right here. We can see now it is vertically centered. Uh, we can now move on to making this icon just a bit smaller. So let's go inside here and target card info, um, then an I tag inside there. Of course, this will target the material icons tag. We can make this a font size of 0.9 EM and a margin right of 8 pixels. Of course, depending on your icon library, these properties might need to change. So I'll let you decide what you want to do with this. But in my example, using material icons, uh, this right here works nicely. So now uh, saving this and refreshing gives us this right here. Okay, cool. So now we can uh, move on quickly um, to just applying um, just the color for this text. So for this, let's go back inside the card info and just say color and make this uh, triple five. So a bit of a darker gray. And uh, we can also move on to uh, styling up the card link. So I'll refresh this. We can see we've got a bit of a darker gray for um, the text right here. Um, for the card link, let's target uh, the card link class and make this a color of, uh, let's just say, 6, 4, 9, 6, and then 8C. That's basically just a grayed out version of my decode green color. We can also say text decoration and make this none. You may want to leave this as underline. It's up to you. We can also say card link um, on hover. We're going to set the text decoration to make this underline. So now saving this and refreshing gives us this right here. 
So now we are basically done with the individual cards and most of this tutorial. However, we've got one more thing to do and that is to make it mobile friendly and also responsive. So for this, let's create a few more cards. So back inside the HTML, let's make a duplicate of this first element here. I'll do this one, two, three, four, four times. So now saving this and refreshing gives us four uh, sorry, five individual cards, okay? But of course now, um, if I was to uh, resize here, we can see it keeps resizing all the way down and obviously it is not very responsive or mobile friendly. Um, so, uh, to fix this, we're going to change one line of the grid uh, CSS. So, let's go back inside the CSS and we're going to change this right here, line number five, grid template columns. And basically, we're going to change it from this three, which means a fixed amount of columns. So, three columns here fixed. We're going to change this to be auto-fill. And we're also going to change this to be min max and make this 225px and then 1fr. So essentially right here, I'll start with this section here. We're saying that the minimum width for each one of our columns is going to be 225 pixels. And also the maximum is going to be 1fr or one fraction of the available space. Okay, so with that being said, it means that our columns can vary in width between these two values, okay? This autofill changed from three means that now the browser is gonna try and fit as many columns as it can on the actual, um, or on each individual row. And then if it can display um, a card on that row, then it will. If it can't, it's gonna just change the width of each one of the other ones so it fills up a bit nicer. So it's a bit hard to explain in words. However, let's go back inside the browser and just refresh here. And now we can see if I resize here, we can see our 225 minimum working perfectly fine. And also a maximum of one FR is also working perfectly fine. Also, if I was to just close this, we can see now it even goes on four column layout if it can. So now I'll also just minimize this. We can see that of course, uh, the below ones are gonna work in the exact same way. I can keep adding columns on and it's gonna keep working. So um, that right there is how to create a card design from scratch using plain HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Thank you for watching guys and I'll see you later.